type uh, today. We will do tutorial seven, who are eigenvalues and uh, eigenvectors type. We want to define what is the eigenvalue, what is the eigenvector. OK. And by the way, this is a chapter is very important or essential if you're doing any data science or in particular al machine learning. Uh, also, uh, it is necessary in that field. OK. Uh, let's first define what is the eigenvalue and the eigenvector. Let's assume that we have a square matrix A at dimension haga n by n, which is a square matrix type. If there is, there exists a vector x, and when you multiply your matrix by this vector, it's the same as or equal to a real number lambda times the same vector x. Okay, so if this happened, so this lambda, which is the real number, we call it the eigenvalue. And X is the corresponding eigenvector for the matrix what? For the matrix A. Again, if we have a square matrix, that is N by N matrix, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, whatever. And if the exist a vector x okay such that when you multiply a v x is equal to a real number okay times this vector x this real number which we represented by lambda we call we name it you know it is the eigenvalue of this matrix and x is the corresponding eigenvector. Clear? Type. Now, how we can find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors corresponding to a certain matrix? Type. If we have AX is equal to lambda X, we can, putting them in one hand, then we will have lambda X minus A Vx, correct? This is equal to zero. Okay, and then we can write lambda i minus a. Okay, this matrix times x is equal to zero, and it is essential, by the way, this is for x not equal to zero. Yani, an eigenvector is not equal to zero. That is, for a matrix A, which is a square matrix, if exists a vector x, which is not equal to zero, okay, such that A v x is equal to lambda v x, where lambda is a real number then this is the eigenvalue corresponding to this and x which is not equal to zero this is we call it the corresponding eigenvector for this lambda okay so what do we have putting them in one hand so this is equal to zero and then lambda i minus a multiplied by the vector x this is equal to zero okay and since and we knew that x is not equal to zero, so this one is not equal to zero. Taking the determinant for both hands, the vector, al vector zero, 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 al hasab al n channel. Type taking the determinant for both hands, you will find that the determinant of lambda phi i minus a, this determinant should equal to zero. Yeah, because when you take the deter determinant for both hand, so it's the determinant of this time this is equal to the determinant of this, but 
since this one is not equal to zero, then this part should equal to zero. So we have this lambda i minus a, the determinant of it should equal to zero. This, we call it the characteristic equation, the char Okay, that is, it is, we need this characteristic equation to find this lambda. That is, you're going to find an equation in term of lambda, and when you solve this equation, you're going to find the lambdas, which are additional eigenvalues, your eigenvalues. Okay, let's see that. Let A be an n times n matrix, and I'm the, I remember lambda, is called the eigenvalue of A if there exists a non-zero vector, and who are X, non-zero, such that this should be satisfied. Type every vector satisfying the above equation, this vector, we call it what we said, the eigenvector, corresponding to what? To this eigenvalue. And if first I have to find the eigenvalues, and then after that, we will find the corresponding eigenvector for it. Type and this is the solution, and then we end up here, lambda i minus a, the determinant should equal to zero, yeah? This, we call it the characteristic equation, okay? And then we use it to determine or to find the values of this lambda, and we will see after uh, just a minute or a while uh, in the coming examples. Type. And after finding the lambdas, for each lambda, you can find the eigenvector, which is the x. How we do that? By solving this. This is going to be like an augmented matrix. This is the matrix. This is multiplied by, this is for the vector, a x, which shall we be, where b, which shall we zero, correct? If we, go, we can solve for x, whenever you find, put, substitute a certain lambda, then you will have what this is, the part is going to be like the A before when we are solving this, the linear system, what we had. We have A, X, so B, the system of linear equations, correct? Type how we solve it, we put it in the augmented form, A, this is the B, correct, like that. And then we reduce to the echelon form and etc. till we find the solution, correct? So it's the same now. This is your now new A. Okay. And this is the vector X and the B is zero. So it is homogeneous system. And always the homogeneous system has a solution, either a unique solution or infinitely many number of solutions. And always solution should exist. Clear? Because it's homogeneous system. Type the set of vectors for each lambda, I can get a vector. So either infinitely many number of solution or a unique solution type. The set of all solution, or the infinitely many number of solution, this is, we call it what? We call it the eigenspace. Okay, so we give it the name phi of lambda. That is all the vectors corresponding to lambda. What is that? This is the set of vectors in Rn, such that a phi x bits I lambda x. So all this corresponding to a certain number lambda. And this will be more clear when we're doing, when we do the, uh, you know, our examples. Is it clear? If, is there any question for now? Or it's clear? Any question for now? Any question? Type. Now, um, actually, what's the meaning of that? A if x is equal to lambda x, where x is the one who eigenvector and lambda is the eigenvalue. That means what, what we did for this vector x. We make just this is was the vector, and now the new vector, oh yeah, if lambda is positive, then it's going to be what just an extension for that vector. It's like that. Okay. So this is now your vector. Taman Lokana lambda negative, it's going to be you are going to have it but in the opposite direction. 
Okay. Now we want to take some examples. Let A, this matrix, find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors of A. We want to find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors. We said what before? We said to find to find the eigen to find the eigenvalues. What we need? We need to start with the characteristic equation, correct? Which is, what do we have? We have lambda i minus a, the determinant of this should equal to zero. Yeah, because what we are looking for, in our know, system can show you a x is equal to lambda x, correct? And we end up by what? To find the eigenvalues, we need the char characteristic equation, which is this part, and equate it with the zero. Here, this is equal to zero, and then determine or find the your lambdas. Type okay. Now, what I have, I have this is my a. It's two by two. First of all, it's a square matrix. Type what we do. We need lambda phi i. Al i has a dimension hagakam two phi two times a certain constant. Ibga. That is what this is, lambda times, what is the i? Al i, al one, zero, zero, one. And then we multiply times it. And then minus your matrix, what is your matrix? One, and then two, and then zero, and then minus one, correct? Okay, and then evaluate the determinant for this new matrix, and this should equal to zero. We want to solve for that. That when you multiply your lambda here in, if got what this is going to be lambda, and this is lambda here, correct? Because lambda times zero, taban be zero. And now you do the subtraction. If indication, how you subtract the matrices, each element minus the corresponding. So it is lambda minus one and then zero minus two which is minus two and then zero minus zero which is zero and then lambda minus minus one that is lambda plus one and then we need to find the determinant of this okay and this determinant we should have its value equal to zero from where? From here. Type OK. Now we need the determinant of this. Type this is what this is an upper triangular, correct? Matrix. So its determinant is what? Just we multiply. Lanuhina under diagonal is zero. So this is easy to evaluate it. It is a determinant is equal to what? This is equal to this one times that one, correct? So that is lambda minus one multiplied by lambda plus one is equal to zero. If now I can get the values, we have two eigenvalues corresponding to this matrix. What are they? Lambda is equal to one or lambda is equal to minus one. So I have lambda one and lambda two, if you like. Lambda two is equal to minus one. If the corresponding to the matrix A, I have two eigenvalues. This is the first eigenvalue, and this is the second eigenvalues. Now, for each one of these eigenvalues, there is corresponding eigenvector. So we start first by lambda equal one. So we need now what to evaluate the eigenvector. For what? For the case lambda equal to one. Okay, how we proceed? How we find this the eigenvector? What we do? We come back and substitute where in our equation. Okay, now what we what we will do? In a good to find the eigenvector, we're going to solve the homogeneous system, which is lambda. Okay, I minus a, correct, phi x is equal to zero, correct? 
but this is is the same as what at this one here. OK, Ibga, what is going to be your homogeneous system? Ibga, what? So it is like this matrix here because lambda I minus A already I evaluated. So it's going to be uh, lambda. Let me write it here. Lambda I here minus one. We're here minus two, correct? And then here zero and here lambda plus one. OK, and we do like that and then. Zero, zero. So this is my augmented matrix and now I need to calculate what the eigenvector. The eigenvector vector here is going to be about x1 or x2, correct? So this is related to x1 and this is for myself x2 or xy if you like. Type. Ibga, how we proceed? How we how how uh, we know how to solve the linear system, correct? But here, okay, I have two different values. First, we substitute with this value, lambda equal one. Ibga, in the case lambda equal one, we substitute here by the one. So for the case lambda equal one, what we do? We proceed here. So putting lambda with sawi one here for the case lambda with sawi one and then we solve is going to be you know, one minus one that is zero and then minus two and then this is zero and then here we're substituting lambda one one plus one is two so this is now my augmented matrix and here zero zero correct now we want to solve this type. We reduce it to the echelon form. First, we divide over minus two, the first stroke. So what I'll get? I'll get uh -huh, when you divide over minus two, what you will get? Hype gain dana, zero, one, and then here zero, and here zero, two, zero. And then after that, we multiply this one by time minus two, and then we subtract to make this element here zero, correct? So this is going to be equal to zero, one, and then zero, and this is zero, one, zero. Sorry, one, zero, uh, uh, zero, zero, zero. Correct? Because I multiply time minus two, it's clear. Type, okay. Now look at your solution. What do you think? Can we look here? How many solution do we have? How, number of leading one and the only one at first row. Where is the leading one? The first non-zero element or this one? So I have here the one and here there is no leading one. So I have one leading one and how many unknowns? One, two. Correct, and two columns. So the number of leading one is less than the number of unknowns. So I have infinitely many number of solutions, which are which which column has no leading one? This column now. So we let what let x with sawi t, and then now from the first row we want to find a y zero for x plus one for y, which is y is equal to zero. Correct? Ibga, now what is your solution? My solution is what? It is the vector T0 type. So what is your eigen value? Take a T as a common vector, uh, common, uh, yeah, common. So here, what do we have? We have one and zero. So this is Ibga, the set of T times this or this vector such that t is a real number this is what this is the eigen space all the vector together within an eigen space but if i need the eigen vector it is this vector it is the vector what one and zero corresponding to what corresponding to lambda is equal to one if we got when lambda is equal to one okay we proceed, we find the augmented uh, matrix, and then we solved for x, y, or x1, or x2, if you like. Okay, 
and we found the eigenvector. Now we do the same for the case when lambda is equal to minus one. What we do? Take the minus one and substitute with it here. And then solve till you reach and find your eigen corresponding eigenvector. Let's see. Right. This is for case lambda with every one. And as we found, it is an eigenvector is one and zero is the eigenvector associated with lambda one is equal to one. Now, in the other case, when lambda two equal to minus one, we substitute in our matrix here by minus one. So minus one, minus one, it is minus two. So minus two, minus two, zero, zero, and minus two plus one is minus one and zero. Okay, so now when you substitute with the minus one, so you're going to get this one here, correct? احنا قلنا حتى هتعود وين؟ هنعود هنا. Correct? بال minus one. Minus one plus one, this is zero. This is the minus two. Here, minus one, minus one, it is minus two. So minus two, minus two, zero, zero, etc. Okay. يبقى. Okay, now this is your matrix form. He a x equal to zero. Now we want to solve that. Put it for augmented as an augmented matrix reduced to the echelon form, and we reach to here. This is is a reduced echelon form. Yes. Type. But still, the number of leading one is less than the number of unknowns. It become leading one. We come to the first row. The first non-zero element is one. Now we come to the second row. There is no one. Correct. If again become leading one, only one leading one. How many unknowns? Two. And who are x1 or x2 or xy? I like if x1. Okay, x2, for instance. Okay. And uh, okay, now this is, uh, and uh, we have how many so number of solutions? We have infinitely many number of solutions. Which column has no leading one? So this column has no leading one. So we assume that x2 with sawi t or r, I like if Okay, and then we solve. So, if we x1 plus t is equal to zero, this implies x1 is equal to minus t, and then correct. What about x2? We knew we sub we said x2. We assume that it is equal to t. If now my solution is what minus t and t like that. So if go, what is the eigenvector? What is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda is equal to minus one? Take a t as a common factor like that. So it is a vector minus one and one. Okay, so this vector is what it is the eigenvector for lambda two, it's our minus one. Type. If he need the eigen space. Then what you will do? Localize the eigenspace with Gulleho. It is the set of vectors t multiplied by minus one or one. Oh, if you like, same like minus t or t. Okay, if you like, I want to write to write like that, such that t is a real number. So this will give me the eigenspace for corresponding to what to lambda is equal to minus one. Is it clear? Any question for now? So to find the eigenvalues or well, eigenvectors, there is a certain steps and it is easy to find it. Now here, there is another example. Find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenspace, my special eigenvector, Eisel eigenspace corresponding to each lambda, to each eigenvalue. Right. So this is your matrix. What we do, we start with the characteristic equation. So, what we, we how we find the lambdas, characteristic equation with Gulshino with Gul, lambda i minus a, the determinant should equal to zero to find the eigenvalues corresponding to this, correct? So, you do the same, okay? And for this one, here had put you know, had kun lambda i with matrix two by two, and here kun endana lambda zero. Zero lambda, okay, and then you subtract this minus this, 
and then after that evaluate the determinant like that. Okay, so and now when we subtract, this implies lambda minus two, okay, and zero minus minus 12, so it is 12, correct? And zero minus one, so it is minus one, and then lambda minus minus five, that is lambda plus five. So this determinant should equal to what should equal to zero. OK, now we know how to find the determinant. OK, just this time that minus this time that, correct? It is not a triangular, upper triangular or lower triangular, well, had the diagonal matrix. It is just a matrix. We have not one of the previous, so I have to calculate it. Type what we will have. We will have that is lambda minus two multiplied by lambda plus five, correct? So this is this time that, then minus this fidus. So minus 12 fee minus one, that is plus 12 is equal to zero. And now how we solve this one? We expand this part. On the flow with Nasser, I should have the equation, and then after that we solve. So this is equal to. Hal mumkin agul mana hal lambda be two or lambda minus five? No, twelve. What I'm going to do? So the only way out in this case, I expand. Okay, I multiply the brackets to have the equation. It's going to be quadratic equation. So lambda f lambda that is lambda square, and lambda p five that is five lambda. Minus two phi lambda minus two lambda minus two phi five phi minus ten, correct? And then plus twelve. This is equal to zero. So this is five lambda minus two lambda. That is three lambda. If we have the equation, we get lambda square plus three lambda plus two is equal to zero. What is that? This is a quadratic equation. We can solve it easily. Okay, and always this we can solve it by, you know, by uh, putting brackets. Something times something. We can solve it either by factorizing like this, okay? Or always, if you cannot factorize easily, Use the general rule. I'll give it Gulshin. Our quadratic formula. I'll give it Gul lambda, which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Where, what, what is the a, what is the b, what is the c? Is a canon model shaklaha lambda square minus. Uh, um, a lambda square minus uh, two um, uh, minus lambda square minus uh, minus lambda. هو مفروض تاخد خلينا ناخد كده أسهل lambda minus a في lambda. طيب هو لو عندك any a equation second from the second order how you can solve this and then this is here a coefficient this is we call it a x square خلينا نكتبه كده a x square plus b x plus c 
is equal to zero. Or in terms of lambda, a lambda square plus b lambda plus c is equal to zero. Okay, so just take the a and substitute with it here, and the b where here and the c. Okay, until a. Okay, so you're going to get your value. Okay, يعني إذا كان عندي مثلا معادلة um, for instance, let's say uh, this one. Now, what is the A? The A is equal to 1. What is the B? B is equal to 3. What is the C? A C is equal to 2. And then just take this and substitute. You're going to find two values for lambda because this is square. You will get lambda 1. Because there is the addition. Okay. And next time with the minus, you're going to, to find the other value. Let me do it here for you. Type when a b1 will be beta lata will see bit name. So lambda is equal to minus b, that is minus three, plus or minus square root of b square, that is nine, minus four. A C for A V C that is eight, correct? And then over two V A two V A and A B one so over two. And then we solve. Then this is lambda is equal to minus three plus or minus what is nine minus eight? It is one. So three uh, square. Uh, it is one and then over two. Type. If get the first lambda with the addition minus three plus one, that is minus two over two, which is minus one. Okay, what is lambda two? It is now we we take with the minus sign, so minus three minus one, that is minus four, and then divided by two, which is equal to minus. So these are my what my eigenvalues. But if you can easily, if you uh, easily you can get the things if you can factorize. What we how we factorize? We put this is lambda square, so we put here lambda and here lambda. Okay, and then we need two numbers. Their addition is three, and their multiplication is two. Yani I need two numbers now. There. Addition that is a plus b should equal to three, and their multiplication that is when we multiply a v b is equal to two. So it's clear a two mind the options illa one v two or two v one, correct? And when we add them up, yes, it will give me the three, correct? So that is plus a two number, one and so this is plus one and here plus two. It doesn't matter where you put the one and where, and this is equal to zero. So that means either lambda plus one is equal to zero, and this implies lambda is equal to minus one, or this one is equal to zero, and here lambda plus two is zero, if the lambda is equal to minus two, and this is the other solution. Clear? I believe all of us, we know how to factorize or how to solve using this formula, which is the quadratic formula. So, we know the quadratic formula. Yeah? Okay, so when I factorize, I got my lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now, what we do after that? What we do after that? We want to find the corresponding eigenvector to this one. And then after, we will find the corresponding eigenvector to this one. And why is the eigenvalue or eigenvector? Which can be the eigenvector? I say, all eigenspace. Type. we substitute the what the uh, linear system of equation. Al huwa, I can additional. Al huwa lambda i minus a, correct? Fill x. Al huwa is equal to zero. Okay, so we substitute here a value of the lambda and solve the system to find the corresponding eigenvector 
for a lambda akhata. Type a lambda ula become p1. So we come and substitute where? Here, after we did this, here. Type let's substitute become. Substitute first time become b minus one. So take the minus one. So minus one minus two. This is minus three and this is twelve and this is minus one. And then here I'm substituting with minus one. So minus one plus five. This is what? This is four. Correct? And then what? This is your matrix. So we find the Augmented matrix reduced to the echelon form and then solve to find what to find the eigen space corresponding the lambda bit side minus one. I know now what the hint of minus one. Okay, so you do that. Okay, so this is same like what we got, correct? And then this is equal to zero, zero. This is the augmented reduced to the echelon form. If go in, we reduce to the echelon form. We will get that. The one for steps, you know, the steps, how to go from here to there. So reducing to the echelon form. Type. This one, a leading one, correct? If this is the leading one. Now, when we come here, my leading one, correct? Uh, so, how many no, a number of leading one is one? Well, unknowns are two. It'd be infinitely many number of solutions. So which column has no leading one? This column. So we assume our let x2 sorry, t exerting constant. And then we got our solution depending on that. So what do we have? We have x1 minus 4 x2 with the x2 i write 40 correct this is equal to 0 that is x1 is equal to 4t yeah and then what is what about x2 we assume that it is equal to 2 to t so x2 is our t if go what is the what is the eigen uh, space طبعا لو عايز الايجن Value it is for a vector for one. The latica common uh, value type. But if we need all the vector space, we like it. We write it like this. So it is t multiplied by four one such that t is a real number. This set it is the eigen space corresponding to lambda bitsawi minus one. Clear type. But we had another eigenvalue which is minus two now we do the same take the minus two and substitute it back here and then solve correct determinant we will solve for on the system yani and now we solve for what we said where we solve lambda i minus a x with zero phi a system of linear equations okay but this form is the same as this form this is why I'm just substituting here, but put in your mind, not taking the determinant, take the, you know, the matrix. Type. And then put fill augmented and then reduce to the echelon form. So we do the same here, and then we reach to here when we uh, reduce to the echelon form. Okay. Type again, infinitely many number of solutions, and I'm the only one leading one. Correct. And two unknowns. If get infinitely many number of solution, we let x2 with savvy t, okay, and then x1 with savvy 3t, and etc. Type if ga, what is the eigenspace corresponding to lambda equal to minus 2? Okay, what is it? It is t phi 3 1, a set of vectors. t vector 3 1, such that t is a real number. So this is the corresponding, yeah, the corresponding uh, eigen vector for lambda is equal to minus two. Any question for now? A matrix, any square matrix could be two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five, no matter. And we do the same. 
to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. For instance, here, this matrix is three by three matrix type. Now, we need the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. So for the eigenvalue, what we do, we have to find that characteristic equation, which is lambda i minus a. This is determinant should equal to zero, correct? So, هنا حتبقى شنو؟ lambda minus 1. حتظهر اللامدا زوين؟ here, في diagonal. lambda minus 1. لأنه lambda multiplied by this one. And this is going to be lambda minus minus. That is plus 3. What about the others? All with a negative. لأنه this one minus this one. Correct? So, it's going to be with a negative. So, here minus 2. 0, 0 minus 0, which is the same as 0. Here minus 2. Here 0, 0. It's like that. So, this is what you're going to get at the end for the characteristic equation. And now we solve. Correct? We solve, uh, find the determinant for this one. I find the determinant. Easily, I can use either the last column or the last row. Lel and a few two elements are zeros. Correct? So I will here find plus, minus, plus, and etc. So minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and this is plus. Correct? So you expand by this. Lano zero times anything where zero zero times any for the layer lambda plus three. So it is lambda a determinant is lambda plus three. This number multiplied by what? Multiplied hash to kida or hash to kida. I've got for this this determinant, correct? So multiplied by this determinant. What determinant do you have bahasiba? This time this minus this time that, correct? So this outside times. Lambda minus one multiplied by lambda minus one, lambda minus one, phi lambda minus one. So it is lambda minus one, the whole square, correct? Phi minus minus two, phi minus two, minus two, phi minus two is four with the minus sign. So it's going to be minus four like that. And then to solve this should equal to zero. So either this bracket is zero or this bracket is zero. Correct? Type. This bracket is zero, so lambda is equal to minus three. Okay. This one I can solve it with different ways if you like. Either you expand this one first. Lambda square minus twice first to second. So minus Two phi minus one, that is plus two lambda, correct? Minus one phi minus one, so it is plus one. This is was minus 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 two phi one phi lambda, so minus two lambda plus one, and then minus four, correct? This one should equal to zero. And then you simplify this one, you're going to get what? You're going to get lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1 minus 4. It is minus 3. Okay, so this equation is equal to 0. So again, either you use a quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and then you solve to find lambda 1 and lambda 2 or else what we do you if you can factorize easily then it's okay so easily we need we put in a lambda here lambda okay and here lambda we need two numbers their multiplication is minus 2 correct and he can go minus 2 wa one or minus one or two. Their multiplication is minus two and their addition is minus three, correct? So, uh, sorry, their multiple, uh, sorry, their addition is minus two and their multiplication is minus three. Their multiplication is minus three. So I'll here either minus three 
1 or minus 1 و 3 طيب when you add which one اللي بديني minus 2 this correct لانه minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 correct so that is this so lambda minus 3 و lambda plus 1 يبقى this is equal to zero. يبقى either lambda بتساوي three or lambda is equal to minus one. Okay. You can reach to the same solution if you go that way. يبقى now I have how many eigen vectors? I have eigen values. I have three. This is the first. So I advise you not to multiply it back here. Because otherwise, the equation has to be a lambda cube, wah, wah, wah. So again, you need to factorize. But خلاص, since two brackets multiplied times each other is equal to zero, خلاص, this bracket, either this bracket is equal to zero or this bracket is equal to zero. And then this expanded, we expanded, yeah, this one. And then after that, Badma, we simplify that. Okay, we can factorize it. Lana he quadratic formula. lambda square. So if easily you can factorize, factorize it and get the other two. If Gelamanikun and then a three, I'm expecting three eigenvalues. So either either al eigenvalues ikunu uh distinct muhtelfin or uh like uh, in this example, this is minus three. Okay, and I have the other two that they are three or minus one. So they are distinct. If two the same, if the answer I'm going to have two eigenvalues. For instance, look at minus three or minus three. So minus three and minus one, etc. Clear how to get the eigenvalues. For this one, we can solve it in another way. Lambda square minus one. Lambda, sorry, minus one. The whole square minus four. We said what this part should equal to zero. So this is equal to zero. This I can write it as minus one. Lambda minus one. The whole square minus two square. What is that? The difference of two squares, correct? This is equal to zero. So that is what the first one. Lambda minus one minus two. Times, I mean, you could end I said, is it correct? A square minus B square. This is equal to what? A minus B times A plus B, correct? Okay, so already we found this. And then, Almarajayabal plus, Alhaikun, lambda minus one, Zaid, Al two. So this one is going to be lambda minus three, phi, and this one is going to be lambda plus one and this is equal to zero and we are back to this one anyway this is i believe all of us familiar with how we can solve this kind of things and here our main goal here and how to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors but algebraic word i believe all of us we should know okay or we are familiar with that Type half a equation for now. Any question? Well, it's clear. So, if for any matrix, I can find the eigenvalues, and the same after that, we can find the eigenvectors. And for instance, if you, for this one, we need to find the eigenvector, how we proceed? Okay. First time you're going to take the minus three and substitute it in the place of lambda, and then find the augmented matrix, okay? And then, who has to be system homogeneous, صح? لأنه في الفورم lambda i minus a matrix دي multiply في x بتساوي zero, correct? And then you put in augmented matrix, reduce to the echelon form, and then find the eigenvectors corresponding to this, and then you do the same. For minus one, substitute with it and till you reach at the end and find the corresponding eigenvector. What that for the three? 
if for each eigenvalue there is a corresponding eigenvector. Clear? Type. Now, if A is an n by n triagonal, triangular matrix, or diagonal matrix, then easily I can find the eigenvalues. How you can find it? How Ihna always we used to find the eigenvalues? We used to find the eigenvalues. What we do? We do here like lambda minus two, correct? Here, lambda minus one, and then Lano, what we want to solve? Lambda i minus a and find this determinant, which is the characteristic equation, it was equal to zero. And we found that this is going to change a sign hageta like this, correct? And this is I call lambda plus three. And I'm going to drop this fi i, it's going to be an element self diagonal. So minus a, if gashno, like that. Type. Now, if you want to find the determinant of this, how you find it? This is upper triangular, uh, sorry, lower triangular matrix, correct? So how we find it is a multiplication, a determinant of these terms, correct? Yes, if what you want to solve, the eigenvalues are what? A determinant, and he lambda minus two multiplied by lambda minus one multiplied by lambda plus three, is equal to zero. If the either this one zero or this one zero or this one zero. If the what? If the lambda could equal to lambda one with nine and lambda two is equal to one and lambda three is equal to minus three. What are they? What are they? They are actually the same values that are in the diagonal. So two or one or minus three. If the, if your matrix is upper triangular. Of lower triangular or a diagonal, immediately the eigenvalues you can get them from the matrix, which is going to be in this case. What is the eigenvalues? Two, one, or minus three. What is the eigenvalues for this one? Do I need to make uh, calculations? No need. Why? Because when you get finding later the determinant, you're going to end up by the elements that are here. So it is minus one and two and zero and minus four and three. These are the eigenvalues, okay, for corresponding to this one. Okay, Ibga. If we have the matrix that is a uh, uh, lower triangular or upper triangular or a diagonal matrix like that, then Immediately, your argument values are the values fi diagonal, fi diagonal like that. Clear, clear, and then you need after that. Taban lo huwa talib the eigen vectors. You go and substitute in the uh, linear system lambda i minus a multiplied by x is equal to zero, substitute the lambdas, and for each lambda, find the corresponding eigenvectors. Now, type. Now we want to know what do we mean by when we say that A, matrix A and matrix B are similar. What does that mean? We say that A and B are similar if there exists an and B, and this is the A. Meten agul, these two matrices that they are M by N, same, yeah, two by two, yeah, three by three, or whatever. Okay. When we say that these two matrices are similar, we say that they are similar if we could find a matrix, a vector, sorry, P. Okay, our sorry, a matrix P, okay, such that P inverse phi A phi P, it will give me this B. Okay, Ibga, when we say A and B, two matrices are similar, if we could find a matrix P such that your matrix B is equal to the inverse of the matrix P times A times P. Later, we will know how we can get this P. 
Okay, so we say that they are similar. Moreover, if one of these matrices, either this one, is diagonal, okay, then we say that A is diagonalizable. Or else, locanet A is a diagonal matrix, then we say B is diagonalizable. And if one of the film diagonal, then the other one we say that it is diagonalizable. Clear? Okay. Now, the importance of in two matrix to be similar. Why? If uh, uh, because the if A and B are similar, they will have the same what eigenvalues. If matrix A and matrix B are similar, that means what? They have the same eigenvalues. Type. So let's prove that. Let's prove that. If we want to prove that these they have the same eigenvalues. Type. So I'll show you how to prove that. Type. So, uh, let's start with the characteristic equation for this. When we want, if we want to find the eigenvalues for matrix B, what we need? We need the uh, characteristic equation, which is lambda I minus B, correct? And we evaluate the determinant of that, correct? So, but we had B and A are similar. Yes, that means what we can substitute mahalal B by that value. So this is equal to lambda I minus P inverse phi A phi P. Correct? Type, but this is equal to what? Okay, I can multiply because we know that diamond P, any matrix phi, it's inverse. Okay? This is is equal to the identity, correct? And always it's the same as P inverse phi P also is equal to the identity. And if I multiply by a number, Hina times three, if I can put the three here or I can put it here or I put it here, anyway, it is three I. Yes? Okay, let's use that here. Type this one, I can multiply it by P inverse, phi p and then phi lambda i so i didn't change the quantity because all i just multiply by i and i by i is i correct so it's the same so p inverse phi a phi p okay and this what i can take the because this is lambda phi i p phi i is the same as i phi p so, so this i can write it as P inverse phi lambda i phi p minus P inverse phi a phi p. Okay, so this one I can write it as what? Okay, I can write it as P inverse like this and then lambda i minus a and then here times p, correct? Yes, because we know that we can distribute, so it's going to be times p times p, and then next time we distribute this in, so I'm going to reach here. Yes, and actually this, this one, we can write it as what? We can write it as p inverse, determinant of this times the determinant of lambda i minus a and then al khas akhadna taht al determinant so law kan indana ay do determinant a phi b any two matrices a phi b then i need the determinant this is the same as what the determinant of this times the determinant of that correct so we can use it here so this determinant times this determinant times the determinant of p but since 
احنا we have what is the determinant of this? It is one over the determinant of p, correct? So, and this is times p determinant of p, and then times a determinant of lambda i minus a. Okay, so this will cancel. Yes. Ibga, it is equal to this. Ibga, the characteristic equation of B is the same as this characteristic equation. Ibga, they should have the same eigenvalues. Ibga, the main or the important things, if A and B are similar, then they should have the same eigenvalues. Okay. This is one. The second thing we said what? If one of them is diagonal, we say that, مثلا, for instance, if B is diagonal, we say that A is diagonalizable. Type. And we knew before, just a few minutes, if one matrix like that is a diagonal, then easily I can find its what? Its eigenvalues, correct? يعني here minus one two zero minus four three. طيب إبقى إبقى what? Since they have the same eigenvalues, if I knew the eigenvalues of this, okay, because it is diagonal, easily I can calculate it. إبقى I knew the eigenvalue of the other one. Not only that, but also, okay. A statement, you know, a new statement type. Also, the if these are similar, then b square and a square are similar, and cube and here cube are similar. So to any power. So if b and a are similar as well, b to the power n is similar to what a to any power n. That means, خلاص, I can easily calculate for any power of a the corresponding eigenvalues. So, let's prove that this is true. For instance, let's take it for, um, for 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 the square, yani here square and here square. So what is b square? B square. This is equal to p inverse v a v p times itself. Sah al haja square. Ma'na here b v b. But this is the b. The first b is the second b. B inverse v a v p. Correct. Now. I can remove a bracket type. We know that this times this well identity, correct? So this is equal to P inverse V A full identity V A. Well identity of any matrix bell matrix nafsa, correct? We know that A V I full identity is equal to A, correct? Type Ibga I could I'll end up by V inverse V A V A V P. So this is P inverse. Phi a square phi p. If you want now p q, so what you do? Again, you multiply this one times p inverse phi a square phi p, and then we multiply it by p inverse phi a phi p. So you will end up by p inverse phi a cube phi p, and etc. Correct? If they will be similar, they will be similar. If also, the eigen the eigenvalues of this is the same as the eigenvalues of that one. So, but if one of them is diagonalizable, and look at the diagonal, okay, we said that it's easy to calculate its eigenvalue. Type and importance of this type. If this is diagonal, still. Now, can it be square, p cube, b to the power 4? I can find the eigenvalues easily. Why? 
because for instance if you have a matrix خلينا ناخذ 2 by 2 مثلا let's say here كان كانت diagonal وخلينا نقول this is 2 and this is 3 okay 0 0 okay for this matrix a or b what are the eigen values are 2 and 3 طيب what about b square b square that means b times b so 2 0 0 3 if you multiply it, we multiply the row times the column like that. So what you will end up by? 2 v 2 by 4 plus 0, 4. And then when you multiply here, it's going to be 0. And now when you multiply this here, you're going to have again 0. 0 v 2 by 0 plus 3 v 0, 0. And when you multiply this with the last one here, what you will have? 0 v 0, 0, 3 v 3 by 9. Actually, if you have a diagonal matrix, then you can find the B square easily. This is your B square. Just square the numbers. I'll home at two with three. I'll hit four, one, nine. You got the idea? If we need B cube, what do you do? Just two feet, two feet, two. You got it? Three times. That is the eight. And this nine feet three which is 27, and then this is 0, 0. Ibga, for B cube, what are the eigenvalues? Are the 8 and the 27. Ibga, what are the eigenvalues for this A? Is the same, 8 and 27. Okay, so is it clear? What do we mean by similar? What do we mean by uh, A and B? Uh, A is diagonalizable? Okay. That is, they are similar, and one of them is a diagonal matrix. Okay, so I can calculate if I knew, uh, if I have the uh, matrix B, then easily I can find uh, the eigenvalues for A and etc. Okay, clear? I, this is already we did it now. And if A and B are similar and by A matrices, then they have the same eigenvalues. And this is we prove it. Leila and the characteristic equations, they are the same. Okay. If when they are similar, they have the same what eigenvalues. Type. Now we want to know from where I'm going to find this P. Okay. If I want to find D that is similar to A. Okay, how can I get it? I can, I'll, 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 this P, okay? Type, what? Simply at that, find the eigenvalues of A. Okay, after finding the eigenvalues of A, find the eigenvectors, corresponding eigenvectors. Then take these eigenvalues, or eigenvectors, and put them. يعني مثلا جاني الايجنفكتور الاولاني let's call it x1 والايجنفكتور الثاني let's call it x2 وهكذا. Take them and put them in a matrix such that the first column هو حق ال x1, the second حق ال x2 وهكذا. For all the eigenvectors. So this new matrix is your matrix P. And then what you need? You need the P inverse. What from where you get the P inverse? Just find the inverse for that matrix. This is going to be your P inverse. Okay. Ibga, if I want to get D that is similar to the matrix A, I need to find the P and the P inverse. How to get the B? Just find the eigenvalues of the A and from them calculate the eigenvectors. Put the, the matrix that is uh, uh, its column, its columns uh, is the, uh, the eigenvector, the here and matrix P. Here, there is an example, not this only. Now, if, if the eigenvectors that you got for the A are linearly independent, 
if they are linearly independent, that means no one of them, you can get it from the other one, then the matrix that is similar to A is going to be a diagonal matrix. Okay? So, from the beginning, I can know that A is diagonalizable or no. How? By finding the eigenvectors. Test them. If they are linearly independent, then you are sure that A is diagonalizable and just put, find your P and your P inverse and multiply, you're going to get that one. Okay? If got an M by M matrix A is diagonalizable, if and only if A has N linearly independent eigenvectors. Eigenvectors have got element tangible. Check, they are dependent or independent. If independent, 100% that A is diagonalizable. Not that only. You will find that. This is going to be diagonal. Plus, if these are what are, has N linearly independent eigenvectors. Type diagonal, that means there are everywhere. Here is zero, zero, but here there could be some numbers. So, diagonal type. You will find that these numbers are what? are the eigenvalues of this A. Okay? You will find that this D, it is a diagonal uh, matrix, and a diagonal haggaha fihu shno, fihu lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, and etc. Which, which are the eigenvalues of this one. Let's see an example. Actually, this is, this matrix we calculated before the eigenvalues hageta well eigenvectors. Let's go back. And here, uh, kind of this two minus twelve and one or minus five, and we find the lambda one minus one, what a lambda two minus two, yes, type, and we found also al eigenvectors hagenaha al homa uh, four one and the other one three one. Let's come back. Type. What the first, al whole four one, and the second, al whole three one. So, then al eigen vectors. Then, can you know? Al eigen vectors. Hagin, you know, hagin al matrix. Hagin matrix A of A. The first eigen vector, and this is the second eigen vector corresponding to the lambdas. So if this is your P, what is your P inverse? Just find the inverse of this. We know how to find the inverse. It is four, three, one, one. And then here we put one, zero, zero, one, like that, correct? Correct, and reduce to the echelon form. Then what you will get here is going to be the inverse. Okay, so uh, we can calculate the inverse. We find it. Now, a statement begul shina. Begul, if they are linearly independent, how they are linearly independent? How can I know? This is the matrix P. Okay. How al eigenvectors of A are linearly independent? This one and this one. Are they linearly independent? Easily. I can find they are dependent or independent by evaluating the determinant, correct? Here, four or one, what three or one because it's two by two matrix. If I can find the determinant, table high control four phi one minus three phi one that is equal one, not equal to zero. If they are linearly independent, type since they are linearly independent, that a while in matrix a mala for the diagonalizable. The independent vector, if A is diagonalizable, that means I'm going, I can get a similar matrix is going to be a diagonal matrix. That is, uh, B, 
is equal to P inverse phi A, correct, phi P. Since the vectors here are linearly, an eigenvector, are linearly independent, if get immediately B is a diagonal matrix. That is A is diagonalizable. Type. What is your P? Your P is the eigenvectors. Huma al eigenvectors hagin al A. Del al eigenvectors. Correct. Okay. These are the eigenvectors. We will add back the regible P inverse. Stop. Let's check. Will B how it will look like? Min gar tafkir. No need for calculation. You're quite sure that here is going to be a diagonal matrix and the elements here are the eigenvalues. What are the eigenvalues? We found them before here for the matrix. For this, we found minus one or minus two. So you should get, uh, where is it? You should get these are minus one and minus two. So this is going to be your D. Now you want to check, is it correct or no? Type al -hua. is this correct or no? Type, find the P. Already this is your P. Find the inverse, this is your inverse. Now multiply P inverse phi A and find the matrix. And then after that, the new matrix multiplied by P from here. Is, is it going to give you this? Well, allow. And here, this is P inverse. Already we calculated here. Okay. And this is your A. And this is your P. Okay. So you can start myself multiplying these two. And you multiply them. And who are row times the column. Shan to have the first element here. 1 phi 2 by 2. Minus three, phi one by minus three, minus three plus two is minus one, correct? And etc. So this is now a multiplication bitashin. This is a P inverse phi A. And then multiplied by your P. You're going to find that this is the result. Yes, as we said. Yes, it is true. Ibgahina, we checked that this is working or not by an example. Okay. Ibga. Again. If we have this is my A, I'm going to get the eigenvalues. Okay. Then get your eigenvectors. Check are they <coughs> linearly independent? <coughs> if they are linearly independent, like this. Then that means uh, four phi one minus okay. Then that means your matrix, this one, is diagonalizable. And the matrix D al hum will B, which is the diagonal matrix, al elements al hum al fi diagonal are the eigenvalues for this matrix. Clear? And when we checked, we found that this is true, that P inverse times this times P, I got this, and elements hageta, yes, they are what? They are the eigenvalues of this. Clear? Type. Here, there are some examples. Let A, this matrix, find the matrix P such that P inverse phi A phi P is equal to D and D is a diagonal matrix. If I want to find the matrix that diagonalize this matrix P or Haja of root, the eigenvectors of this matrix are linearly independent. And I should find them first. How should I find them? Or Haja. I ma the matrix that I have been given, it is what? It is lower triangular. Ibga, I know what are the lambdas. Lambda 1, 
without any thinking, minus 1, wa, sorry, 1, wa, minus 2, wa, 2. These are what my eigen values. And then what we do? We substitute in lambda i minus a, okay? Phi x is equal to zero. Al values of the lambda. So we start with lambda bit we one. So when lambda, lambda ola, when lambda one bit we one, we substitute. So what you will get? If we want the augmented matrix, now we need what? We need to substitute one in here. So this, when you do, you are going, when I find lambda i minus a, I'm going to find that I'll end up by lambda minus one, zero, zero, minus six, and here lambda plus two, correct? And then this is zero, and here minus seven, and here plus four, and here's going to be lambda minus two. Correct? So now when you substitute with the one here, so you will end up by the matrix one minus one, zero, and then zero, and then zero. And then you substitute, uh, and here, I'm sorry, minus six, and here one plus two. So it is three, and then this is zero, and here minus seven, and then here, uh, plus four, and then here, one minus two is minus one. And then this is the line, and this is zero, zero, zero. Okay, so what you do? Reduce to the echelon form and then find the solution. And then here, you will find that when lambda, uh, which one? Uh, when lambda beta one, you should get, this is the corresponding eigenvector. Okay, so you should end up here. Okay, as a homework, check it. You should reach here. And then next time, what you do? Next time, we substitute by minus two, minus two, minus one, which is minus three, correct? And all in you know, like the same amount over here. Uh, minus two plus two, so this is zero, and here minus two minus two, so it is minus four. So you got this one, and then reduce to the echelon form as well, and solve the system. So you will end up by this one, zero one one. Okay. So anyway, you will calculate for each eigenvalue the corresponding eigenvector. This and this and this. Now my question, are they linearly independent? Well, la. I shall either agul your matrix A is diagonalizable. Well, la. I got the eigenvector. Are they linearly independent? How can I know that? Just put them. Okay. Al uh, hu indana what one o two one for instance, and then uh, for instance. Um, Zero, one, one, and then zero, zero, one. So this determinant. I want to see that they are linearly independent. And for me now, it's clear that it is lower triangular. The determinant, just multiply this. So this is equal to one not equal to zero if they are linearly independent. Type, what is your P? Take them. And to have the same similar work, just uh, put start with the smallest lambda. If we have lambdas, we have lambda 1 is equal to minus 2, lambda 2 is equal to 1, and lambda 3 is equal to uh, 2. Okay. To have a similar work, what we do? Put a corresponding to lambda equal to minus two. Shantajibal P when al minus two, this one. Al hua zero one one. Type and then lambda bit sawi one. It's one two one. It got one two one. Type 
and then this is for lambda uh, equal to two, it will be zero, zero, one. Okay, so this is going to be your p. Calculate your p inverse if you want. Easily you can find it. Taban. Just find the inverse of your p. Okay. And I know that inverse exists le lanom they are linearly independent the vectors. That means inverse exists. Type. And now what we need? We need to find that matrix B that's similar to A and it is diagonal matrix. Lanom linearly independent. Type. Do I need to make a calculation? Yani to find uh, P inverse phi A phi P. Do I need that? Do I need to find this one? No need. But do it as a homework. You should end up by what? I should end up, since these are linearly independent, I should end up by a matrix which is a diagonal. What is the element of it? The elements are the eigenvalues, which is minus two. Okay, so here zero, zero, zero. And other is going to be one and zero and zero, zero. And the last is two. So the eigenvalues are here in the diagonal. So this is your matrix, which is the matrix D. So this is your matrix D. Clear? Till here, is it clear? Type. Ibga, uh, is it clear? Any question up to now? How you can find the matrix? How you can know that it is diagonalizable? We knew how to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. To know that it is diagonalizable, look at the eigenvectors of that matrix. Are they linearly independent? If they are linearly independent, you're quite sure it is diagonalizable. What is the matrix uh, D will be, which is diagonal matrix, which is similar to the first one? It is the matrix that elements with diagonal haginna are the eigenvalues. Okay. If you did this one, also you have you are going to reach here. OK, but I'm quite sure I should reach here. Why? Because he gave me like a theorem that the if if A is diagonalizable, then this diagonal matrix is the matrix that has the eigenvalues in what in the diagonal. So this is your D. Clear? Yani a D is equal to the P inverse phi A phi P. Okay, A is diagonalizable. If this is diagonal type, if we made this calculation, we're going to find this. But also he gave me the theorem. Yes, this is diagonal and easily without thinking, without looking after that, it should be like this. A matrix that is a diagonal and here what these are the eigen values of a type type therefore what last minus two one or two he got the p okay and immediately he gave you your d without even calculation why because of the statement that then the diagonal matrix okay it should has uh, eigenvalues of A here in the diagonal. Type shows that the matrix B is not diagonalizable. As in the and matrix B is diagonalizable or no? Anyone can tell me? Anyone can tell me that this is diagonalizable or no? And why? I'm waiting for an answer. 
this one, is it diagonalizable or no? So, okay, what is the what are the eigenvalues for this? This matrix B. What are the eigenvalues? What are the eigenvalues? What are the eigenvalues for this matrix B? Yeah, yeah, because it is lower triangular. Then one. One or two. Immediately they are the eigenvalues. No need to go and find the characteristic equation, lambda i minus a, or find the determinant and solve that. This is when this is equal to zero, and find then after that lambda one or lambda two. Immediately, because this is the tri when you do this, when you find the triangle, uh, when you uh, because it is uh, lower triangular. When you find the, uh, the determinant, you are going to end up by lambda minus one multiplied by lambda minus one multiplied by lambda minus two. This is equal to zero if the lambda one is one, here one, and here two. If the, these are the eigenvalues of my matrix B. Type. If these are the eigenvalues, what do you think? Hell B is diagonalizable or no? Okay, I'll tell you, it is not. He told me that it is not diagonalizable. Why? Why? What, why? What do you think? What comes to your mind? Always we'll take the number and substitute it back for lambda i minus a, correct? And then times x is equal to zero. And then we do find the augmented matrix and solve. But since this is one and this is again one, if the eigenvalue vector corresponding to one is going to be the same as this one. So, if the one column, it's the same as the second column with the eigenvector, correct? Yani, this is x1 and this is x2. So they are the same. So, this is x1. Again, this is x1. No? I am going to substitute lambda one or lambda tiny by one. And then here, maybe this is different. Correct? But if I put it like that to find the determinant and the two equal columns, and yani let's say one or minus three or five, for enough it. So one or minus three and five. And here, here any numbers, uh, three, two, four, مثلا. But when we have two same columns, if they are linearly dependent, صح? وحتى لو عايز اشتغل بالdeterminant, this is going to be equal to zero. Within a determinant equal to zero. لو في two rows equal or two columns equal, or one of the rows is zero, correct? If immediately, if the eigenvalues are not distinct, Okay, that means they are the same. Some of them, they are the same. If immediately the eigenvectors are malum are dependent, linearly dependent, ma independent. If tawali, that means B is not diagonalizable. B is not diagonalizable. Clear? Since B is a lower triangular matrix, then the eigenvalues of B are made diagonal, are 1, 1, or 2. Therefore, B does not have three linearly independent eigenvectors. They are the same. They are not linearly independent. Already, this one is the same as this one. By multiplying times 1. Correct? So they are linearly dependent. If it is not diagonalizable. Type lastly, to find the eigenvectors, we use we have to find where's the eigenvalues. If the eigenvalues are used to find the eigenvectors, this is we knew it before. Now the new information: the sum of the eigenvalues is called the trace of the matrix. Let's see.
where is this? Uh, OK, here. In this example, where is the trace of the matrix A? It is the diagonal. This one, we call it the trace. Type add the trace, add the numbers in the trace. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. He said the trace of the matrix, OK, that is the addition of these two numbers is equal to the addition of the eigenvalues. But where are the eigenvalues? Minus one or minus two, add them up, minus three. If this is minus three and here minus three. Okay, if now the statement that theorem, you know, a trace, which is the addition of these two numbers at diagonal elements here, the value hageto is equal to the addition of the eigenvalues. Now, okay, clear? Type. Ibga, this is the first statement. Now, the product of the eigenvalues is the determinant of the matrix. A product type, let's go again to anyone. Okay. For instance, our here. The product of the eigenvalues minus one, if you minus two is two. Type, find the determinant of this one. Let's find the determinant of this one. Type, what is the determinant of this one? Type, al huwa in a minus one, fi minus two, this is equal to two, should equal to the determinant of A. So what is the determinant of A? Two fi minus five, minus 10. Minus this fi this is minus 12, minus 12. So minus minus positive, minus 10 plus 12 is equal to two, correct? If the multiplication of the eigenvalues should equal to the determinant of the matrix, which is this two. And this is also if you took another example. For here it's clear. Eigenvalues, correct? One, one minus three. Yes, uh, find the eigenvalues of this one. So when uh, sorry, uh, here this is not a la, la diagonal. La. So you, if we add it for this, minus three plus one plus one. Okay, so minus three plus two, that is minus one. Type here, minus three plus three is zero. Zero plus minus one, so minus one. If get the trace of the matrix is equal to the addition of the eigen you know, uh, values type and the determinant as a homework go and find the determinant it should equal to what this time that time this that is minus three for minus one it is three for three by nine as a homework find this one okay and we can do it easily now type okay i can Expand using this to find the determinant. Yes. Type if the idea minus three multiplied by what? One fee one b one minus two fee two b four. So this is minus three fee minus three, which is nine. Correct? So it is equal to this multiplication, which again nine. If the multiplication of the eigenvectors or of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. Okay. Right. If um, a square matrix A is singular, methane, in a good matrix between singular, if a determinant 
singular, that means has no inverse, correct? If a determinant is equal to zero. Type, but we said a determinant is what the multiplication of the eigenvalues that is equal to lambda one phi lambda two phi lambda three phi al hasab al lambdas kam indak sah al hasab al a kana three by three or four by four or five. Okay, so to have this multiplication is equal to zero, at least one of these should equal to zero. Ibga one of its eigenvalues should equal to zero. If the a square matrix A is singular, if and only if lambda equal to zero is an eigenvalue of A, one of these eigenvalues of A should be a zero number. واضح عشان ما يديني حصل الضرب zero لأنه we have the statement here the product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. طيب the determinant zero معناش إنه one of these number at least one of these number should equal to zero. Clear? Sally, I saw Alikal Awal, so the determinant will be zero because two columns are equal. Yes. Type. And then an eigenvector of an M by M matrix is a vector such that satisfy this A V X with Sawi lambda of X, where X is the eigenvector. From the beginning, we define it like that. An eigenvector, we give it a name, it's we call we call it the direction of the matrix. If he asks you to find the direction of the matrix, that means he wants you to calculate the eigenvector. So we call it the eigenvector or the direction of a matrix. Type. If A has N distinct eigenvalues, then A is diagonalizable. Le, le manikuno distinct, manaha no two of them. They are the same. Yani, a case like a, in the previous example, one, one, two. They were not distinct. If the eigenvectors of this one and that one, they were the same. If the matrix is not diagonalizable, correct? But if they are distinct, they are different. I cannot find two the same. Okay. They are distinct. If the eigenvectors are going to be the eigen vectors are different. Mush kiddo bus, not only different, and what linearly independent. We if the high kunal matrix mala, it is diagonalizable. If the from the beginning. If you got a different eigenvalues, immediately you can say that the matrix, uh, the eigenvectors are linearly independent and the matrix is diagonalizable. Clear? Clear? Okay, uh, so we finished now our chapter, and not only the chapter, but we finished the course. And if you have any questions, you may ask. Do I stop our recording here?